The Waste Isolation Pilot Plant, or WIP, is a U.S. Department of Energy facility designed for the safe, permanent disposal of transuranic radioactive wastes left from our nation's nuclear defense programs. The creation of the atomic bomb in 1945 hastened the end of World War II, but soon a new era in weapons production began, the Cold War. The U.S. continued large-scale production and testing of nuclear weapons throughout the Cold War era. Decades of weapons research and production left huge stockpiles of radioactive wastes at facilities across the country. Collectively, these facilities are referred to as the nuclear weapons complex. More than 50 years ago, government scientists began to look for safe methods to isolate radioactive defense wastes to protect human health and the environment. They determined that deep natural salt beds offered an ideal medium for the permanent disposal of wastes that would remain radioactive for thousands of years. Thick layers of salt are free of fresh-flowing water, geologically stable, and impermeable. Throughout the 70s, the U.S. Department of Energy studied a 2,000-foot-thick salt formation located in a desert area 26 miles from Carlsbad, New Mexico. In 1981, construction began on the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant, the nation's first deep geological repository for radioactive wastes. Nearly two decades passed before WIP received its first waste shipment in 1999 from Los Alamos National Laboratory. Congress limited disposal at WIP to defense-generated transuranic, or true, waste. Commercial wastes, low-level wastes, and high-level wastes are not permitted at WIP. True waste generally consists of clothing, tools, rags, and other items contaminated with plutonium and other man-made radioisotopes that have atomic numbers greater than 92 on the periodic table of elements. The term transuranic means beyond uranium. There are two categories of true waste, contact-handled and remote-handled waste. Remote-handled true waste emits more penetrating radiation than contact-handled waste and therefore must be shielded and handled with machinery and robotic equipment. Contact-handled waste, once sealed inside the disposal container, can be safely handled by workers under controlled conditions. Approximately 96% of the waste destined for WIP is contact-handled true waste. WIP is regulated by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and the New Mexico Environment Department. To ensure that only permitted wastes are disposed at WIP, technical experts examine true waste records at the storage sites. Additional methods that may be used to determine waste eligibility prior to shipment include real-time radiography, visual examination, non-destructive assay, or waste sampling and analysis. Once the waste has been qualified and its documentation approved by regulators, it is ready for shipment to WIP. The waste is loaded into specially designed transportation containers, approved by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission for WIP use following a series of rigorous tests. To ensure the public's safety, WIP employs only highly qualified drivers and loaded trucks are monitored 24 hours a day by satellite from a secure control center in Carlsbad. Trucks and their payload undergo careful inspection before, during, and after each trip. Protocols for safe shipping were developed through cooperative efforts of the states and tribes through whose jurisdiction the shipments travel en route to WIP. On arrival at WIP, the shipping containers are unloaded and taken into the waste handling building. Waste handling and radiological control personnel perform a series of steps to ensure that the shipping containers, which will be returned to service, and the waste disposal containers inside are contamination-free. The waste is now ready for permanent disposal, 2,150 feet beneath the desert floor, where miners have excavated disposal rooms that are 300 feet long, 33 feet wide, and 13 feet high. Four shafts connect WIP surface and underground facilities. Two are used for air intake and exhaust. A third is used to haul mined out salt to the surface. The fourth and largest shaft is the waste shaft. Personnel use both the salt and waste shafts. When waste arrives underground at WIP, waste handling crews transport it to the disposal area. There, remote-handled waste canisters are inserted horizontally into pre-drilled boreholes in the disposal room walls, followed by a concrete shield plug. 
contact handled waste is stacked in columns on the disposal room floor. One advantage to disposal in rock salt is salt creep. High pressure on the salt formation causes the salt to creep, filling in the voids created by mining. On average, the WIP underground mine experiences three inches of closure per year. Over time, the waste containers will be entombed in salt. To slow closure in the active mine and protect workers, miners use roof bolts, wall bolts, and other retaining material. Disposal rooms are mined on a just-in-time basis. Engineered safeguards and the WIP repository's natural geologic barriers provide a safe, long-term solution for true radioactive wastes. The project's continued success is of great importance to governments worldwide seeking safe solutions to man-made radioactive materials. Today, cleanup has been completed at a number of sites, years ahead of initial projections. WIP is expected to complete its mission by 2034. Thousands of waste containers have been safely disposed, nearly one half mile underground at WIP. Isolated. Forever. For more information about WIP, the world's first licensed deep geologic repository for defense radioactive wastes, see the WIP homepage, call WIP's toll-free information center, or send us an email.